Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude. At $120, you're probably thinking a phone has something wrong with it to be that cheap. Well, let me tell you guys, today we're going to be looking at the Moto X4, which is $120 at Amazon, and let me tell you, this phone cuts no corners. And today, let's go over some of the specs, and if it's worth using in 2019, I'll let you know that. Here we go. So let's go ahead and unbox this phone and see what you get. So here is the phone. Now, I will give you a full disclosure. I have been using this phone for the last couple weeks as my daily driver, and I am a fan of this phone, guys. You get a 12 megapixel and 8 megapixel camera on the back, one of them being a 125 degree wide angle camera. Pretty sweet. You also have a 16 megapixel front facing camera with LED flash on the front so you can take selfies in low light. That's pretty awesome too. IP68 dust and water resistant. Yes. Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 processor, three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage with a micro SD card slot. Okay, that's, that's okay. Uh, specs are a little old. A little outdated but you know what um, if they do the software experience correctly it could be just fine 3000 milliamp hour battery plus turbo power to give you about a eight hour charge in 15 minutes okay i'll take that and moto experiences so what does that mean well you can uh double twist open the camera something i use all the time double chop open the flashlight yes pretty awesome guys let me tell you so as far as design of this phone, you do get an all glass display and glass on the back as well, which means that this phone is not only smudgy, it's also very delicate and slippery. Guys, let me tell you right now, it's very slippery. If you're holding the phone like this, you're gonna probably be worried that it's gonna fall right off your shoulder. So make sure you get a case or some kind of skin on it if you want to be extra careful. But as far as the build quality of this phone, it's pretty, pretty awesome. It definitely does not feel budget at all. But this phone did come out in 2017 at a higher price point, but it's being offered at a budget price now. So I'm gonna review it as a budget phone. So as a budget phone, this phone feels very solid, guys. Let me tell you right now, it feels very solid. On the bottom, you get a USB-C port. Yes, USB-C on a budget phone. Thank you. Most budget phones come with micro USB still, which I hate, I wanna get rid of micro USB and go straight to USB-C. So thank you, Motorola. Thank you. Also get a headphone jack in the bottom. Very cool. You get a 5.2 inch 1080p display. Um, let me tell you, this display is actually really nice. It gets plenty bright, plenty vivid in colors. And you get the Motorola pulsing display to let you know when you have notifications. You can swipe your hand over it and it will light up showing you if you have notifications on it. And then from there you can drag up on them and get to the notification you want to look at. So pretty sweet. You also have a fingerprint sensor on front, which works a treat. It's very fast, works every time. Thank you. And this fingerprint sensor can also double as a gesture trackpad. If you don't want the on-screen buttons, which I do not because I want all the screen real estate that I can get, you can enable the one button nav in the Motorola software, which gives you the ability to swipe to the right to open recent apps, swipe to the left to go back. And if you long press, it'll open the Google Assistant, or if you short press, it'll lock the phone. So pretty sweet. I actually like that a lot. Very useful. Now, as far as using this phone goes, when you get it out of the box for the first time, you're gonna have about 14 software updates to get you up to Android 9 Pi. Thankfully, this is running a stock version of Pi pretty much with a few Motorola enhancements, like I mentioned earlier, like the double chop to flashlight, double twist for camera, and the one button nav. Nothing obtrusive, nothing that I wouldn't recommend being on stock Android because I actually like those features a lot. Now, being as this is the Amazon version of the Moto X4, you do have to, there's nothing obtrusive that comes on it being the Amazon version, but there are some Amazon apps that you can easily disable if you don't like them, but it's mostly like the Amazon Kindle app and Audible and some other Alexa things. And you can enable Alexa hands-free on this phone if you want to, so you can say Alexa, it'll open up and you can ask it questions just like a normal Alexa. I don't personally use that, but it is nice to have that option. And I actually don't think that's a hindrance as far as features go. So. I'm okay with all the Amazon features that this phone offers. Now the bad thing is, uh, for some reason when you get to Android 9 Pi, things can lag sometimes. It's not all the time, but sometimes if you're just using it for quite a while, it'll slow down, slow way down. I'm not sure if it's due to the processor or if it's due to just the three gigabytes of RAM that it comes included on it, but it can slow way down. And this is pretty noticeable when you're trying to multitask or if you open the camera. It'll take a while to open, open the viewfinder or if you're switching to the wide angle camera, it'll take a while to do that as well. So nothing that's a deal breaker, but it can slow down and hopefully they'll fix this in a future software update. 
but at least it is getting updates still, even though it seems to have broken some things, but maybe they'll fix that. Let's hope. Let's cross our fingers, guys. Battery life on this phone is actually pretty outstanding. I get a whole day's usage with about 30% left when I get home, and that's with about four hours screen on time, so yay, that's awesome. And content on this phone looks great. I have no complaints about the 1080p display. It looks fine to me. Colors are vivid and bright, and it gets plenty bright enough for outdoor readability, so yeah, that's all you could really ask for, right? As far as camera quality goes, guys, this phone, like I said, does have a 12 megapixel main camera, which does a pretty good job in decent lighting. You also have that eight megapixel wide angle camera, 125 degree field of view, and I actually like that a lot. And I actually think the front facing camera does a pretty decent job too, guys. And it is nice that it has the LED flash. You can light up the scene if you need to. So no complaints there either. So guys, that's about it for the Moto X4 in 2019. I would highly recommend this phone at the $120 price point. If you're in the market for a budget phone that feels premium, make sure you pick it up using the link in the description below. As always guys, appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks for watching, you just got CE Tech. Have a great day, see you next time, thanks.